it's just you and me We'll make our own eternity Just take me away with you And lay me down in fields of green With the water rushing over me In the shadows of joy I'm alive I'll death behind, it's just you In the Radio Lex studio tonight, and we're continuing to celebrate first time nominees for the Lexington Music Awards. So let's get it at it, everyone. First of all, let's have you introduce yourself and tell us what you're nominated for this year. And Jeremy, since we heard your song, let's start with you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. First of all, all of us, thank you for having us. Uh, yes, my name is Jeremy Zeller. I'm from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, and I've been nominated for Male Vocal, Americana Folk, Singer, songwriter, and critic's choice. Excellent. So is that four? Did I count four? That is four. So we had Trish in here with four earlier. So congratulations. Let's give it up for Jeremy, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And Jeremy, we'll, yeah, we'll, we got, and now we got him going both ways. That's awesome. Brandon. Hey. My name is uh, Brandon Edwards, and uh, I'm from Lincoln County, Kentucky, Stanford originally. Ooh. Yeah. And, uh, I'm nominated for gear repair, so I own a place called Frizzell Guitars, and I build and repair guitars, instruments, and all the above, so that is uh, what I do. Outstanding. Do you have any famous clients? Um. Yes, uh, I've worked with John Michael Montgomery. I've oh, worked with excellent. Eddie. I've worked with a lot of people. Uh, got to give away to a TikTok star about a year ago. I gave him away a guitar I built for him, so that was really cool. Excellent. We're so glad you're here with us. And Mike, you're next. Yes, my name is Mike Holliger. Um, I am actually a Lexington native, and I am uh, up for the live sound tech category. Um, I've been uh, doing sound since about 2017, starting at Parlay Social, and then um, I started buying up my own gear probably about 2020-ish, and started really hitting it in 2021 and I'm, I've, I've picked up a lot of uh, big events. Big shout out to Gator for giving me the hand up and you know the help out. He's He's been a real big influence and also Ned here. Uh, he's been uh, getting me on gigs with him and uh, helping me like I help him out with all of his uh, community service stuff as well and it's it's been an amazing year and a couple of years actually doing this so all very right. humbled and we'll swing it over to ned ned tell everybody who you are and what you're nominated for just like jeremy said thank you so much for having me this is an honor to be here and be around these other great musicians and people in the community music community local my name is ned Ballou. i first time nominee in the community service award and second time nominee for drummer of the year so what I'd like to do now is just kind of go around the horn again, and Jeremy, we'll start with you, and I just kind of want to ask everybody the same question, and I've been asking all the guests today, uh, really, what are you looking forward to the most about attending this year's award show, and really what it means to you to even be nominated? Yeah, thank you. Um, I would say, first off, it's uh, it's... It's a goal I set for myself last year. I attended the Music Awards last year, and as I sat there, I just I knew that what I was going to be doing this year, um, I wanted to be just in the conversation with some local people that are doing things. And yep. so I made it a, a goal to be nominated for Best Male Vocal this year, and I got that along with the other three. And so it, it, everything has just been a, a massive blessing. I didn't expect any of it. I just wanted to be, you know, in the conversation. And so... Uh, it means a lot, really. It's uh, it's a good gauge for, for myself. Um, I'm a goal setter, and so it feels good to hit this one. And can I just say something about Jeremy as well? Yes, ma'am. Because ma it, Adam, as I sit here and listen to his story, and also talking with him over last summer, um, he reminds me of Tiffany Nesbeth, who has been on here and talked about manifesting yeah. um, the, what happened to her at the Grand Ole Opry stage with winning the Josie Awards. And I just really want to continue this message that, you know, you see it in your mind first, right? Mm -hmm. And then you make it happen. And you're a great example of that, Jeremy. We're Thank so you. glad you're here Thank with you. us tonight. I appreciate that. So let's go over to Brandon and 
What were the questions again? Brandon, just the <laughs> I distracted basically, you, Brandon. I just really want you to talk about what it means to you to be nominated for Alexi mm-hmm. and what you look forward to the most attending this year's award show. You know, I'll start off firsthand by saying that uh, <clears throat> that I'm here because of love of guitars. I love guitars. I love sharing the love of guitars with people. That means a lot to me. When I set out to open for Zell Guitars, you know, I was running off of a few dollars in faith and hopefully that I could open up a, a place and it would go somewhere. And every day I just put my heart and soul in the community. You know, I, I grew up watching Andy Griffith, as probably much most of us did, and I like to call my store <laughs> Little Mayberry. People walk in the door, they know me, they know them, and, you know, you give back to people and you get to meet some incredible folks. You get to meet guys that have been playing for 20, 30 years and the stories they tell, and then you get to meet first-time people that are just starting out playing music music live and it's really cool to bring together and to fix their gear to build guitars for people and just you know see a block of wood start out from nothing and then come into an instrument and to me that just means a lot and uh being nominated it just shows that all the work i put in and give back to people means a lot because i try to not only give great repair but great customer service and make sure that everybody i meet along the way don't just come in as a customer, but they leave as family. Now, do you have your own brand of guitar that you build? I do. It's called Frizzell Guitars. I have a retail location that I have, you know, on one side, it's new and used gear, strings and accessories and lessons, and then on the other side, you can watch me five days a week build guitars while you walk in the store, because I have it open to the public. You can see me, and most of the time, you'll catch me working on either repair or building something, and I don't hide it back. I'm right there getting my hands dirty in the wood shop. Dude, God bless you. People, musicians love you. I mean, without you, you're kind of like the engine that makes everything run. It dude. is, and it's yeah. great. I go out to shows, and I don't even know people. Yeah. Like up in Lexington, even little, and they're like, hey, you're for Zell Guitars. You fix gear. And it's like, you know, it's cool that they don't know me. Or guys that travel three states over to come bring me a guitar, and I've never met them before in my life, but they decide to get in the car and drive three states over. That's cool to me. It is cool, and it's something to be proud of. That means you do good work. Yes. Yes. I, so. Let's give it up for Brandon, everybody. That was fantastic. We're hearing some great stories tonight, are we not, Adam? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm learning something new about every guest yes. today. It's awesome. And next up, we have Mike. So, Mike, tell us about what it means to you to be a first-time nominee, as well as um, what are you looking most forward to? And, Adam, did you have something to add? Exactly. No, yeah. no. Those two particular things is what I'm aching to know. <laughs> so, what this means to me is basically it means that I have have improved a lot in my work and my craft, and I have uh, basically... I've, I've formulated my board to where I have minimal feedback each show, and it's always fulfilling for me to have a good mix for every band I work with and that they're happy and they're comfortable on the stage, and also that I'm keeping the stage safe for everybody to move around as well. Because um, like you like you being here in the studio, yeah. a clean studio is a happy studio. Yeah. A clean stage is a happy stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so... Um, sorry, what was the uh, what was the other question again? What are you looking most forward to? The on one Sunday thing night? that I'm looking looking forward most to to the, about this award show is being able to be in a room with everybody in one night because we only have a few nights a year together. Uh, uh, run it like in, in my craft. Nobody has gigs on Sunday night. <laughs> it's a good night. Exactly. And like I uh, I am friends with a lot of the bands here in Lexington, uh, original and cover, and I pretty much know a lot of people throughout the central Kentucky region. So for us to be able to gather in one place and actually like shake hands, take pictures, and hang out just for a little bit is just awesome to me. Excellent. Yeah, I, I just think, too, I never did think of that, you know, when you said it. It is it is one of the only times of the whole entire year where everybody is in a room at the same time. Mm-hmm. So the vast amount it's of talent. It's a great feeling. Yeah, <laughs> it's something to look, I'm excited to attend for the first time as well. Yes, too. and we're going to talk about you, too, but uh-huh. let's hear from Ned. Yeah. Ned, yeah, let's give it up for Ned, Ned here and go. also for Mike. Thank you for being with us, Mike. And Thank Ned, you. tell us about what it, does it mean to you to be, you're a second time nominee, right? Right, but in first drummer, time in first one time category. For community service, yes. yes. What I'm looking forward to most, I want to echo what Mike was saying, is that being around this amazing group of people related to the music business, artists, musicians, songwriters, sound people, 
people that work on equipment are just an amazing group of people. And you get to meet people that you don't know or heard of, and you get to meet them for the first time and talk to them and get to know them a little bit. Like Mike said, take, shake their hand, take a picture, and celebrate when they win. It's, yes. a, it's just an amazing event, what they put together. Yeah. And what does it mean to you, Ned, to be nominated in those two categories this year? The drummer is an honor. It just uh, it just proves that you've worked hard and you've developed a craft, and some people recognize it. I really like that. But the one I'm most proud of is the Community Service Award. That's about helping other people. Um, it's a true honor. I, we put this program together. We call it uh, uh, Rock Relief, and we've partnered with um, Red Cross, uh, The Nest, Greenhouse 17, the uh, uh, flood victim relief fund and to help those people to provide supplies for them uh, Mike's been part of it he's running sound force at all of our events but to provide products and services just to help people in need makes a difference and whenever I reach out to anybody in the community to help us with this everybody's chomping at the bit to help mm. nobody says no mm -hmm. what can I do when can I be there I can only be there at this time it just makes you feel so good about this community it's just an honor. Let's give it up for Ned, everybody. And so that kind of completes our Da Bears round. Now, we, now Adam, you and I got to have a conversation because Adam and I are the oh mys. And Adam is also nominated for the first time in a category for DJ of the Year. So let's give it up for Adam. Thank you, thank you. Adam, let me just ask you. What are you looking most forward to? And also, what does it mean to be nominated for the first time? Oh, usually I'm the one asking the questions. Yes. So, I, oh, I am excited to just, like, kind of echo on what everybody else was saying, just to be in the room with such a vast amount of talent locally, all in one place, getting to meet everybody that I've seen online or I've just seen their name. It's going to be nice to just meet you all in person and it means a lot to be recognized for the work that you do. Uh, ironically, this weekend, the same weekend as the Lexi's, is the 10 year anniversary of my show, Off the Cup Without Banks. Excellent! Bank. So yeah. I'm kind of just kind of reeling it in, just taking it all in. And it's my first award show, my first award ever. I don't think I've won an award since my sophomore year of high school when I got the Perfect Attendance Award. But I still love that award because you have to show up every day to get that award. And I kind of relate it to this award. I showed up every day as a DJ. I didn't, maybe some days didn't feel like it or I didn't want to, but I showed up every day. So because of that, um, great things happen. If you hang around the barbershop long enough, you'll eventually get a haircut. So true, and I'm so proud of you, and I just really want to thank you for working with me so much this last year. Adam was responsible for getting me out of a very difficult comfort zone <laughs> with scripted and pre-produced radio, <laughs> and all of a sudden, here a year later, I'm on live, and I just love being on the air live with you, so thank you so much. Well, no, I mean, I, you should talk. You are just an inspiration to me just doing what you do. And, uh, I mean, you were Off the Cuff's most fascinating, one of oh, Off yes. the Cuff's most fascinating people of 2023. So let me ask you the same thing. What does it, what's it like for you to be nominated for the category that you were nominated in? And what do you look forward to the most attending this year's award show? Well, I am nominated for community service, so Ned and I are sitting here as half of the nominees, and the other half are just so wonderful organizations as well. We're blessed with a lot of nonprofit organizations here, and a lot of those that serve the arts. Um, also, it means a lot to be nominated for Overtones Live for the Music Business of the Year, and that's really related to my husband and I's um, Listen Locally. And we are looking forward to seeing everybody. I will just say I've, I, I share your sentiments about Sometimes it's the only time you see somebody for a whole year, and it's also an opportunity to meet people that you've met online but you haven't met physically yeah. and been able to hug and shake hands with. So I'm looking forward to that. And we really want to give it up also for David McLean, who's just done a oh. tireless and wonderful effort in pulling this together and making it such an enjoyable festivity for all of us. Let's so give it up for David, too, really yes. Thankful. Another guy I've not met. Yes. 
Yes. Bill Mech, too. I'm looking forward Bill to meeting Mech, Bill Mech. Yes, we have the Bill Mech. You all got to get your picture with Bill. He loves to take pictures with everybody. So that's awesome. So, Adam, we want to thank all of our guests this evening per, for presenting another great collab edition of Overtones Live and Off the Cuff Special Edition, honoring the nominees of the 10th Annual Lexington Music Awards. And as we close the show, you were hearing and are hearing the Goodwin Brothers, who are nominated once again also for Bluegrass Band of the Year. So we look forward to seeing them. And there's singing everyday thing and we hope that as you go through 2024 and beyond that you will make all of the guests we have heard during this series your everyday thing going forward so until next week this is Renee Cobb and I'm Adam Banks and we're working in concert each and every week to bring you the best this great state of Kentucky has to offer music fans reminding you that when words fail music always speaks have a great week filled with music family friends and a lot of love listen locally everyone